I mean, one of the best platforms or, or you know, places to fight was New York City. You know, Vegas at the time was the fight city of the, of, of the world, but New York City, there's nothing like it. I mean, when you're walking through Madison Square Garden oh, man. and just knowing the talent, the athletes that are wow. performing there and knowing that you're one of them, it, it's just amazing. And UFC 205 was the very first UFC fight, uh, MMA fight. Um, uh, there, it, we, the broke, we broke ma all Madison Square Garden records. Oh. Yeah, it was awesome. And I got fight of the night. Me and Tyron Woodley got fight of the night. And uh, it was just the coolest experience ever. Of course, you know, when you're walking out to the octagon, a lot of things kind of go through your head. You know, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm hoping like an asteroid comes down to blow the place up so I don't have to do it. You know, like all these things are going through your head because yeah, you're yeah. so nervous. You know, you're getting ready to do battle. Um, you're ready to... You know, step out in the octagon. And the whole world is watching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all this stuff is going through your head. You know, you know, you know, wishing you would you would twist an ankle or something happens where you don't have to fight. And to be honest with you, every fight I've got close to eighty something fights, I'm still like, you know, I'm scared. I mean, people say they're not scared. It's yeah. it's one it's, of those things. But going out there and doing it anyway is what it's all about. You know, yeah. you put in the hard training, the hard work and what gives me confidence is knowing that I did everything I could to prepare for the fight. No excuses. And, uh, but once you, but something crazy happens, once you step in that octagon or the ring, it all goes away. Yeah. You know, you're meant to be there. Isn't that amazing? Like, it's funny how you touch on that, uh, Stephen. Like, same with me. Like, every time I got in the ring, like, I had 200 amateur boxing matches and 31 pro fights. And every time you get in the ring, you're kind of, oh, my God, what's going to happen? Oh, maybe I'll just go over my ankle going up the stairs, uh, up the steps yeah, yeah, to get yeah, into yeah. the ring, right? But it's not that you're afraid of getting of getting hurt or anything. You're just afraid of, oh, shit, if I get hit with a right hand and I go down, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, you <laughs> got these doubts in your mind. You get you get doubts in your mind, you know what I'm saying? But once, you're in the, once you're in that physical space... Everything goes out the window, man. You want to get in there and you want to land that first punch and stuff. And when you're talking about Madison Square Garden, you know what it reminds me of? Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, fought at oh, Madison Square man. Garden. Isn't that amazing? When, yeah. when we walked through the halls, we saw these mass, these pictures of all these greats. They have pictures and posters yeah. of these Muhammad Ali. And uh, it's, it's a sight to behold walking through Madison Square Garden, man. Wow. But you're also... You're also nervous, not really for yourself, but you know every everything you carry with you, because yeah. you know, yeah, it's the fight game, and yeah. people only see you. I but know. it's a team effort. Like I yeah. wouldn't make it if it wasn't for my teammates yeah. sacrificing their bodies to help me get to where I'm at. You know, my fam, my family, my students, yeah. everybody to help get you there. So you're you're nervous for them as well. You know, you want to, you want to perform to your best ability for them too. Yeah. You got so much, you're carrying so much on your back. You know what I'm saying? That you don't want to disappoint anyone. That's, that's right. the fear, right? That's the fear. But once that fear goes out from what I heard, cause I've heard about Sugar Ray Leonard as well. If, if you talk to a fighter that says he's not afraid, that fighter's career is over. His, his fight yeah. career is over, man, because you got to have that fear because that makes you sharper and you're yeah. going to twitch and you're going to miss punches because you're so focused in, right? Because you don't want to disappoint. A hundred percent. And I, and that's, you know, one thing that, you know, I'll be 38 uh, next month, this coming month in February. Man, you don't look any older than 18, man. Hey. <laughs> I'll be 38, but uh, I feel like I'm 25, you know, uh, and that's with the style of fighting that we have, that karate style that I have. It's a tough style to it's, stay on top of. Mm -hmm. But I don't take as uh, much damage as most because a lot of these guys, they walk, even at the highest level, you still see guys walk to the center and fight like rock and soccer robots, you know, mm -hmm. taking all this damage. So I try not to take too much damage. I've been knocked out one time when I fought Anthony Pettis. But uh, to be honest with you, like, I'm kind of glad it happened. Because I've that's always been in my head, like what does it feel like to get knocked out, right? And to be honest, it wasn't that bad. No, I know. <laughs> but you were also winning that fight like easily. Yes. It was, it was in like yeah, the last were... ten seconds, if I remember correctly, or something. Yeah, like that. that's I... the but, but that's the fight game, man. You know, you never know 
what could happen, right? Like everybody had me winning that fight. I was winning it. And the next thing you know, that's what makes the fight game so exciting. Yeah. So like when Tyron Woodley had me in that guillotine where most people would have tapped, I've been there before. You know, mm -hmm. I've been there before. When I popped my head out, you heard the whole crowd go crazy. You know? That was <laughs> at Madison Square Garden, too. Mm. What a sound. But everybody was wow. like, how, did he, how is he not tapping? You know, I was mentally – I was ready to go out. I was ready to just, just to just to go. I wasn't tapping, um, but I've been put there in the gym, so I know uh, that being uncomfortable, being uncomfortable in that situation, I was comfortable with it. Yeah. I got to thank you for that sports moment because where I was, the crowd went nuts. Everyone's like, you know, this guillotine is so deep. And holy <laughs> cow, I'll never forget yeah. where I was when that happened. It's just mind over matter. It's amazing how what your mind can do, right? Jerry Tremble. Yeah, Jerry Tremble was a bad motherfucker. Golden boy. That's what they call Atlanta's Jerry Tremble. Yeah.